sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It the flying gazelle. So today I'm going to be doing something a little different. I already recorded a video. I already edited it of me redoing the dresser I made or redid, refurbished. And um, so today I'm just going to commentate over it because I was playing copyrighted music during this whole thing because I didn't want to get my headphones dirty. So we're just going to hop into it. And here we go. So just going around my garage, doing things. Um, there's the boards I was going to use. I ended up not using. Um, I just went to the store. I went to Lowe's and just bought some flat wood. Because on the bottom, like instead of being flat, it had like, it was like, it was not flat. It had a little niche in it, kind of like that. Or it was like kind of like kind of like this, so yeah. Um, when it comes to came to routing it, uh, I really should have made a jig to where I put boards on the side and put clamps down, so it wouldn't move and I could it was gonna be perfectly straight and I could just keep moving it. Um, and I didn't have to keep being hunched over looking straight down and getting sawdust shot straight in my face. So, um, that's one thing I would have done differently. The other thing is, I definitely would have routed, th done the whole routing the top part first. Um, because at some point, I'll point it out, as at one point I decided to stop routing and paint almost the whole rest of the thing. I'm like, oh, there's some, some sawdust will get on there, but it'll come right off. Problem was, I didn't feel like waiting, so I kept going faster than I should have. Now letting the paint dry properly, which is another thing I would do differently. So, as you can see, I'm pretty much covered in sawdust. I already did the lengthwise. I think I'm going down and doing... I think I'm starting to... Yep, I'm going to start the smaller sides now. I can't remember when, but at another point, I went to Home Depot and bought a router bit that was the biggest one that I could buy. I think it was like a half an inch. It was awesome. Made it go a lot faster. Honestly, I could... I, I wanted to do this and then do like the countertop resin pour and make it black or white, which would make it look cool, but I don't have a lot of practice with that. And making a form on the sides of the dresser where they're kind of con concave is like the entrance to a cave, convex, where they're like convex, um, I ain't concave. Kind of hard when you want it to be flat. Um, that was just me saying, look, I did this part, but I'm covered in sawdust, so I don't want to do the rest. There's my butt. Uh, you see a lot of that, because I have great camera angles. <laughs> um, pay no mind to my socks. I got those for free at the Arnold. I say free, but I paid 25 bucks to get in, so it's whatever. Uh, at this point, taking the drawers out, taking the old knobs off, just trying to, and now I'm trying to just, I sanded all the drawers a little bit. Um, I was using my belt sander, my portable belt sand, handheld belt sander, but I felt that was too big and I had a really rough grid on it. So I used my little handheld portable sander with a finer grid, you know, just to kind of smooth it out a little bit. Um, there's, there we go. So I, I probably put the first coat on the drawers. I decided not to, I took out the part of me painting the drawers and the white centerpieces. I maybe, or the white cross, I probably added that in somewhere or left that in. But that was boring because for some reason, I must have gotten distracted and I just left my camera sitting on 
the drawers. Just, hey, look, here's paint dry. And I thought, yeah, I don't think people are going to like that too much. Um, and then, like, I wanted the whole thing to be black and then do the drawers white and the details on the drawers black. But then when I thought about it, what happens when it's nighttime and it's you can't hardly see your shelves? So I asked some friends at work and they said, Oh, we'll just paint the paint the shelves white. I was like, Well, that, 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 that's, 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 that's a little too easy. That's, that's not my style. I'll make it look better. So since I was going to put a cross on the top, I was like, the, the shelves are already black, so why not? put some painter's tape down in the shape of a cross or whatever and then just paint it white so you have a black with a white cross on the top and then you have a white with a black cross on the shelves so at this point that's what I'm doing um, I didn't put painter's tape around the sides because I like to do the spray paint stuff so even if I'm spray painting and doing that stuff if I get a little splash of something off to the side I'm like Oh, you know what? That doesn't look too bad. So that's really all I'm doing. I just put painter's tape right there. I tried to keep as much white off the sides as possible. Um, I think I did put it up on the horizontal one, the vertical, and at the bottom. Because I wanted the trim to still be black, but I wanted, I wanted you to be able to see the front of it. Um... Yep. So I'm just painting and painting and painting. And then I start to paint. Like, see, it has that little splash. But I think that looks cool to me. Oh, yep. Yeah, see, right there. Got a little white right down there. So put a little, little bit of tape on right there. Put a little tape on the sides. I know it looks like I'm going at an angle, but it, it's straight. It's covering up everything. And that's just a bad camera angle. There's plenty of good and bad camera angles in this one. Um, so yeah, like it's kind of splashing, but it's kind of like light. It looks like light's radiating from it, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, so then I was just going to... I put one coat on. Then I look over to the drawers, put a second cone on them, just covering them all white. I did went I went and bought paint marker, black paint markers, so then I was gonna paint the flowers. Just the top of the flowers black. I don't want to paint the whole thing black. I just painted like the top of the the top of the deep the top of it black and I put painted the middle black. Did, I didn't record that I did record that, but it got, it was a little too much, so I took that out, but you'll see it at the end. Um, and this is where I said I should have waited longer for the paint to dry. This is when I went to the store. You can see the pieces of wood there on the back left of your screen, right of me. Um, those are the new boards, and I'm trying to measure because they were, the old ones were like three inches or so. Those were like closer to four inches wide. And Dum Dum here tried to just go off his old measurements. And as you can see, I did not get the center at all. <laughs> you can even see the lines. Like, look at that. Look, it's going straight. It's only like that far right there on that left side. And there's like a whole inch on the right side. Like, what the hell am I doing? Pardon my language, but goodness, come on, Jordan, you're better than that. Doing the short sides. And then, I was like, Jordan, I feel like this isn't straight. Yeah. Oh, no, this is a lot better. Just use the actual wood that you have now for your measurements so it's not wrong. I ended up, it's still going off my old lines. Yeah, this is close to the center. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's real close. No. I 
Now, as you can see, I was way off with my lines right there. I think this is the this is the next day or something. I did this all in like four days. I did most of it in one because I have off on I had off. It started on a Wednesday and I was done on Saturday. So, oh yeah, there's. There's the sawdust from just that small side taking it completely out. Now I'm sure. Just, just, just wait for <laughs> the whole rest of the thing. Um, like I said, I should have waited for the paint to dry because I decided to paint the whole thing. It's like, yeah, a little sawdust will get on there, but the sawdust was also hitting off of me and going straight onto the dresser. Um, and what I see a lot of people do with, like, their routers is they have a big flat table with a jig to where their router is just, you can move it just back and forth and go as fast as you want. And it's almost like a planer, but um, I wasn't sure how to take that top off, so I should have just made a jig. Or just found a. I didn't have boards long enough to go all the way down, because then I would have taken a board, a, a thin board, because those knobs are like pretty close to the top of the dresser. I should have just taken a board or two. And then attach those together at the far ends, and then made it so I could just set my jig down in it, or my router down, and it would not move from side to side. I can just go. Uh, yeah. And you can see that red spots on there. That's where I use my handheld. Uh, belt sander. Um, push down a little too hard on that one. Yeah. I really wanted to take like all that paint off, but I should have just used a finer grit sandpaper and used my little handheld overall sander, and it would have been a lot better. Cause then taking off that old paint kind of leaves a little groove. It's hard to tell here, but yeah. And as you can see, there's a little groove down there to where I didn't quite set the the router bit deep enough or the same height somehow. There's my butt again. Which setting it to the different heights wasn't too much of a problem just because this was flat wood. Um, and you're not going to be looking at the sides of it like, oh hey, this, this isn't completely flat. Now if I was a professional, I would have been a little bit pissed or mad because, you know, you do all that work. <clears throat> and then you mess up. But then... I mean, I had wood glue. I had super glue, so I just used that. My wood glue hardened because it was just sitting there all winter and summer, most of the summer. Um, another reason why I should have taken my time with the paint dry is because <laughs> the sawdust shot over onto these <laughs> uh, <laughs> white drawers, and uh, I had to use my Exacto knife. So yeah, I just my Exacto knife to try and just pick it off on the wet spots. The first couple I had to I went back and redid um, just cuz using like the markers not flat it was just like this so I had to, I kept using the front of it so I knew exactly how far but then that kept getting frayed and kept touching the, the actual flat part of the surface and not just the flower. Well, I started to get pretty good at it. Um, So now you see what I mean. I'm just painting the top parts of the flower, not the whole thing black. Which, 
My favorite color is pretty much black and white. My mom's favorite color is black and white. This is her dresser. So she's gonna like it. <laughs> she loves it. Um then you know I just want to add a little something else, so I just turn the marker over. Well, I used the frayed part. I just put dots in between each pedal on every drawer. I thought it added a nice little accent to it. And honestly, this leaves plenty of room for me to go back and possibly like add vines or something across. Who knows? Why not? So yeah, see, the marker got a little... But then as I kept going, it got a lot better. And then I eventually had to go back over them again just because... Again, I didn't let the paint dry properly, and, you know, it's a paint marker, so I wanted to make sure it was dark. Um, and I didn't want to, I could have tried to use, like, the spray paint technique just to take, like, a piece of paper or cardboard and, like, kind of fold it around, but then if you're spraying it too much, you get it drip, it'll drip paint and it'll make it even worse. So I just didn't do that, um, or cut out the just cut out cardboard um, not trails tracings there's my butt again I just didn't cut out, I didn't feel like doing that, I feel like it would take too much time and wouldn't be as accurate because again if it's cardboard or paper or whatever the more you spray it the more it's just gonna kinda fall apart and drip so I thought the paint marker worked just fine um, finished routing, getting all the sawdust out again. You can see that I didn't set my uh, router pro quite properly. And here I'm just checking to make sure that the board will fit or if I need to go back and... Because again, I was doing it freehand and if you've ever tried to work with this or like a Dremel and you're like digging into the wood, I'm sure you know that it can just hit a certain spot and just dig it. And then you're kind of, it's not the, it's not the best feeling in the world. So I did have to go back and, you know, kind of take off spots where you, I could see it had a kind of a bow in it. Um, but yeah, then it, it fit perfectly. I would have done something, see, I'm trying to mark it. Because I bought the router from Home Depot and it came with three routing mitts, a straight one and two edgers and stuff. So I was going to maybe put put the edging tool on it, but I decided not to. Like, you know, maybe you want to put something square or something there on the end and you can put it right on that piece because it doesn't have a lip on it. So, I don't know. I just left it that way. <laughs> And not having the proper tools to actually make it exactly as this freaking probably 20, there's my buddy again, 20 year old dresser. I didn't want to mess up a piece of wood and have to go buy it again. Which because since this is a cross, I wanted to just use one screw in each one, you know, for each hand, the feet. And I used one at the top to resemble the head, obviously, but... Um, yeah. Again, just making sure that my pieces fit. Measuring, because I guess I didn't get it quite exactly in the center, which is okay. Um, just measure twice, cut once. There you go. Uh, so I'm just double, triple checking my measurements and making sure that I'm cutting it right. Just went over to my miter saw and zit zit. Now at this point, I'm thinking, hey, you can leave it just a straight piece all the way lengthwise, and then have the two sides, and it'll be cool. It looks all white, you know. Or my creative mind kicked in. Why don't you take the inner the cross section and just you know cut the cut the three short pieces out and then the one long piece 
and then make something out of the cross section. So in the cross section, I made another freaking cross, which turned out, which took a couple times, because I was trying to do like a checkered pattern with painting tape, and I didn't quite do it right. I didn't feel like cutting out like perfect little squares, like paint the whole thing one color and then put square, 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 square. So I just painted it one color, or I waited for it. I actually flipped it over, <laughs> and I just I waited for the paint to dry. I think I painted the other side white. I painted it white, and I just put tape down and then painted black. And there's another cross in it. No, 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 no. I painted it all black, and then put the tape down and then painted it white because then the cross is conflicting with the the little cross. The cross and the cross section is conflicting with the cross on the big section. So, um, so now I just use spray paint. I didn't feel like buying buckets of paint, which next time I do something like this, I probably will. It'll look a lot better. Um, just put like a little base coat on. I'm taking all the painting tape off the sides. And now the big reveal. You can see all this sawdust. <laughs> One thing I would have done is make sure that the painting tape didn't go up on the sides. Um, Cause now I'm looking at it, I really want to go fix that, but it's already up in my mom's room, so I don't, I don't really think that would work. But honestly, I do the same thing I just did there. I take a piece of cardboard or something and just hold it straight up. And just go, and it'd be perfect. Whenever you do something like that, you always want to make sure to try and hit the piece that, the, the cardboard or the paper. Because if you try to spray straight on it, um, unless you have really good painting cans where it has a good nozzle on the top, um, it's just going to spray a big circle. So what I've learned in doing my spray painting stuff is you always want to spray the cardboard first so that it hits it. And you might get a little spray off, but like, so if I'm spraying it here, like if I'm trying to spray this part, if I spray it here, it's just going to kind of splash up a little bit. And it's just, that's, that's how I've done it. And we'll continue to do it. But as I continue to do these kinds of things, I'll get better and I'll have just, you know, paint brushes and then it'll be fine. And then all while I was spraying the top black, um, I painted the brown wood white. Um, for some reason, I didn't want to fit again. I'm, I'm thinking spray painting it or something caused it to, and I'm just using a piece of wood that I, I cut that was black, unfortunately. And it left black marks on there, on the white piece. That was, that was real smart. I could, there's so much, there's so much other wood just sitting there I could have used. Just use my towel. See, I'm doing the, but I put the painting tape down because I didn't. I don't want to, I don't want to have to keep doing the paper, spraying it, and then having to move over and spray the black, and then, because then I was running, I was running low on paint at that point. I used a lot of black and white paint. So now I'm just putting all the pieces in, and there's the cross-section piece. It is still, not, it's still not in there yet. It's not made yet. It's coming, though. There's my paint marker. I think I just picked that up to fill. Oh no, <laughs> that's the super glue. That's not my paint marker. At one point, here in a couple seconds, I grabbed my paint marker just to touch up on some spots that I think I whacked with that piece of wood. Or I just drill the pre-drill the holes so nothing, so the wood doesn't split. Um, I actually had to go. I still need to go and take my Dremel and grind off the screws because they went pretty far through because there's not that much. But they were the shortest screws I had. I didn't feel like going and buying 
box of screws. Which, honestly, if I bought them, I'd probably use them again at some point. Oh well. But that's nothing. That's going to take like f five minutes. That's my drum wheel. With my drum on a cutoff wheel or my sanding wheel, because it's a small spot. So, like, see, here's what I mean. You always want to spray the paper first so it doesn't. Yep. Perfect. Boom. But you can see right there that there's a little bit of white that got through. I'm just touching a little paint marker. See, just quick quick touches with the black because there's not much white there. Um, that would be a cool idea, like to make make the cross like radiating. I would have put a strip of painters tape, painters tape, painters tape, just basically painters tape along the outside on the black. So it was just one like inch strip of painters tape, just touching the white outside, and then just kind of like. Spray, put some white on there and make it like glow. But that was just too much. That's way too much. So as you can see, now I'm checking the screws. Um, I'm just testing to see if the drawers would still go in, and they did. So I'm just putting the drawers in. I should put on the little the cross section piece. I'm just waiting for it to dry and it'll be here at the end. It's gonna be on here at the end. Just watch. Yeah. It's gonna be on there at the end. Struggling with the camera. There's almost the finished product. Here's the end product. See, there's the little cross section. It's a cross within a cross. So, yeah. That is my project that I did in Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Four days. Actually, it was less than four days because I only did it for like an hour on Tuesday. Or, I started on Wednesday. I only did it for like an hour on Thursday and Friday because I had to go to work. But, um, yeah, that is my video. Um, it's a little something different. Uh, I would normally just play music through it. But, I'm going to commentate it, go, give you my thoughts. So, yeah, that's my video. Um, if you like what you see, smash that like button, click the thumbs up button. Feel free to subscribe, turn on notifications. I'm going to start posting a lot more videos because now I work, I can edit videos that I found out I have a hotspot and upload them. So I can like record a video on a day off and go into work and edit it and upload it. Um, so yeah, feel free to smash that like button. Um, leave a comment if you want to see me try to make something else or remodel something else. Um, gaming videos, more to come. But uh, yeah, I'm the Flying Gazelle. Hope you guys have a great day. Peace out.